Well, today we had a swarm. A lot of people get excited whenever they see a swarm because there's somewhere around 10,000 bees in the air, and uh, um, that can be a little impressive. It's a natural process. Uh, one of the hives that we had um, became overcrowded, and as the number of bees in increase inside of the hive, the queen bee, she lays an egg which is going to turn into a daughter queen. And that daughter queen, whenever she emerges, will take over the old hive, and the old queen will leave the hive with about 5,000 to 8,000 of the original bees she flies to the nearest tree where she lands and then she produces a pheromone or a chemical which the other bees smell. They're attracted to her and they form what's called a swarm. It's a large cluster which forms typically on a branch about 12 to 15 feet above the ground. The queen is in the center of that cluster. There's about 8,000 worker bees around her. They're keeping her warm and protected. Once the cluster forms, there's what's called scout bees. These are her daughters, which are specifically, their job is to go out and look for a new place to form a colony. Those scout bees leave while the swarm is in the tree, and they literally look for a new home. If I can find the swarm when it's occurring, whenever the cluster forms, I can climb the tree, I can harvest that cluster, bring that cluster into a new hive body, put the queen along with her, with her uh, daughters in that new hive body, and we basically end up with a new hive for free. Instead of allowing the bees to go somewhere out into Superior and find a place to live, we're capturing that swarm, that cluster, bringing it back into our apiary, um, giving it a new home, and we end up with a whole new colony of bees.